y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a comparison between three amazing bags, okay? And I actually do have separate videos on all of them, but I've never had them all at the same time until right now. And um, anyway, I'm just super excited to show you. So first, I'm doing a comparison between the Speedy 40. If y'all been following me, then you know it was one of my very first loves, the Speedy 40. The Carry All, uh-huh, and the Keep All 45, okay? These three babies right here, and when I tell you their measurements, you're going to be kind of mind blown because they're all so similar, okay? And as you know, the Keep All also did, well, I'm sorry, I'll get to it in a minute. Okay, so we're going to start with Speedy 40, okay? So, Speedy 40 measures 16 inches wide, okay, by 10 inches tall, and I'm just measuring, like, from the bottom to the very top of the bag, which is right here, okay? And then almost 8 inches deep, okay? So, probably depending on, you know, I always use the uh, seamstress, um, seamstress, 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 um, you know, sewing thing. I feel like this one is the most accurate. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's where I measure. So 10 inches tall and then, um, almost eight inches deep. Okay. So obviously this, this to this, and I just measured this and it's almost eight. So, and then of course the handle drop is, is four inches. Okay. So one of the things I want you to notice though, is see how the handles are kind of close. They're sewn closer together. Um, so I just want, I just want to point that out because the other one you'll see in a minute, but, um, y'all probably know that the Speedy 40 also comes with the bando option. What's a bando? Well, it's the option where you can put a strap on it. It's got like a leather piece right here on either side with a D ring and you can throw a strap on it. Or if you don't want to actually get the bando part, you can put a strap on the hardware here. I don't really recommend it because you're putting unnecessary stress on this, but you know what you do you. Okay. Um, but anyway. So that's the Speedy 40, okay? So, <clears throat> Keep All, okay? The Keep All is 16 inches wide, so the same as the Speedy 40, 16 inches wide by 11 inches tall, okay? And you can see that it has a similar shape, of, you know, how it kind of round, like the Speedy, like the Speedy goes like this and it kind of domes up like that. So, Speedy was, Speedy 40 was 10 inches tall, this is 11 inches tall, and then this is actually nine inches deep. So one whole inch deeper than, um, well, maybe just a little bit of, cause you know, I said the Speedy 40 is almost eight inches deep. So a little bit over an inch uh, more in depth. And then um, it has a six inch handle drop. And you can see how they're sewn, they're placed a little bit further apart. Okay, plus you do have um, the six inch you know, drop, which I like that because if you wanted to carry this in the winter, or even if it's just chilly and you have a puffy coat on or even any kind of coat, even a pea coat, it's easier, excuse me, than uh, the Speedy 40. The only thing about this bag is there's no uh, hardware, there's no, you know, there's no bando option, okay? Unless you just want to go and just put it here on the hardware, which again, I don't really recommend, although the hardware, okay, so what? The hardware on the Speedy is a little daintier okay, than um, the key ball. The key ball has like rounded, um, well, I'm trying to see. Well, I guess technically the Speedy, the Speedy does too. This is also rounded, but this is hardier. See how it's just chunkier? And then it also has like the bubbly rivets, okay? The Speedy, as you'll know, has the flat rivets, okay? So this has bigger rivets. Um, and then they both have, they both do have the rolled handles. I forgot to mention that. Um, but anyway, so they are placed further apart and then obviously they just look different, but I'm really just kind of going over measurements. That's really the main thing. But then also what the bonus on this bag is that you have two huge outside slip pockets on either side. Okay. And, um, just back to the speed real quick. The speedy only has a one zipper option for opening the bag. It's just a one zipper. Uh, the key ball has two. Okay, so you've got this, or sorry, not the key ball, the carry all. Okay, I don't know if I started off saying key ball on this. This is the carry all. If I said key ball, I'm sorry, I've been on that wacky tobacco, and I'm sorry. Carry all. This is the carry all. And so, anyway, it does have a double zip also, and it opens nice and wide. I mean, like, well, the zipper doesn't go all the way down into the pocket, but it opens nice and wide. 
okay, as opposed to the Speedy. And it has a huge slip pocket here on the back, okay, and the date code's in here in this pocket. But it's a huge slip pocket there in the back. Y'all already know the Speedy just has the little, the little dainty pocket right here. If, if you're lucky, I mean, you know, the really older ones don't even have that, but most of them do have this little pocket right here, which isn't much to speak of. And then I was going to say uh, a D ring. I feel like the newer ones have the D rings. Now I can't remember this one's, this, this one is super vintage. This is like from 1989. Um, and then this one was, uh, what year was this? What year was this? This is, um, 2007. So anyway, um, so there's not a D ring inside of this one, but there is the huge slip pocket. So, and then it comes with, you know, the luggage tag and the handle keeper. All right. So that's what you got here for the carry all. Sorry. I hope I didn't say keep all. I have to, I don't want to start the video over just to make sure that I had said it right. So again, this is the carry all, not the keep all. Sorry about that. Okay. And then last but not least is the keep all, the keep all 45. Okay. So this is the smallest of the keep alls. Okay. You've got the speedy 40, which is the biggest of the speedies. And then you jump up to the luggage series, which is the keep all 45 and it measures 18 inches wide. So it's two inches wider than both the speedy 40 and the carry all two inches wider, 18 inches wide. And it's also 10 inches tall. So I don't, I was thinking that it was a little bit taller, like, you know, a little bit taller than the Speedy 40. Okay, the Speedy 40 is 10 inches tall. So they're literally the same height. Isn't that funny? I did not even think that. And then of course the carry-all, just kind of comparing like this, see? The carry-all is 11 inches tall. So again, the Speedy 40 and the Keep All 45 are both 10 inches tall. And then um, the keep all for, I mean, yeah, the keep all 45 is also eight inches deep. So you have the speedy 40 that's almost eight inches. And then you have the keep all 45 that actually is eight inches. And then again, the carry all is nine inches deep. So it's one inch deeper. It kind of looks the same in the video, but see, I mean, they're very similar, you know, the main difference to me is, okay, so they are shaped. This one is a little more boxy. Um, this is, of course, a true Boston bag. How, you know, you can see how the shape is. But this one seems a little more boxy. I don't know. Although I'm looking at it, it really has the same kind of curve there at the top with the piping. Um, maybe it's because the handles are uh, sewn wide apart. And I don't know. Anyway, you can see that the key ball looks very similar to um the carry-all except that the uh handles you know they're sewn close they're placed closer together and so is that leather strip so that's the main difference of course the speedy didn't have that at all so they all kind of look a little bit different but really they're all very similar in size and i was also going to say this has a five inch handle okay so speedy 40 has a four inch handle drop carry-all has a six inch and the keep all has a five inch, okay? And this whole thing came about because I have a client who um, was asking me if I thought that the, uh, key, if I thought the keep all 45 was gonna be too obnoxious for a daily carry. And I'm like, yeah, I really think, you know, first of all, you do you. But yeah, I, I, you know, I said, I really do think it, it might be a little obnoxious. And I said, have you seen the carry all? And I wasn't thinking um, that it was so big, but um, I do have a video on it because I did actually carry this as a daily bag. For a really short amount of time and I didn't get rid of it because um, I thought it was too big now you have to actually go by I actually have two videos on it I have like when I got it and then I also have why I sold it <laughs> and it was it was like when I first got into Louis Vuitton and I was a nervous wreck about all the Vachetta which I kind of still am that way but not really as much as I was um, okay so let me just go back really quick so here is an organizer from original club okay it's very similar to Samorga, except it's cheaper. Um, but this is this is the size that will fit inside the Speedy 40. When I did use my Speedy 40, I carried it both both ways. I carried it with the organizer and without the organizer. A lot of people don't like, you know, the sag that it has. Well, this one's, I mean, it kind of has that sag, especially when you have to get all your junk in it. So obviously you can get a base shaper. You don't even have to use an organizer. You can just get a base shaper. But the organizer kind of serves both purposes. It keeps it organized since you don't have any pockets. And um, it has a ton of organization. You can choose the different ones that you want for the organizer. But this one offers 
a ton of organization and in that way of course it makes it a little heavier i guess but anyway it helps it keep its shape and all that kind of stuff now on the carry-all i'm sure you, you could also use this in the neverfull gm by the way okay and then also you could put this in the carry-all and then um i feel like it has enough organization just with that huge pocket oh crap okay it's not fitting in here really oh yeah it is okay sorry so see so you could also uh, put it in here same thing okay because obviously you could use you know the carry-all as a weekend bag too and then of course last but not least is the speedy 45 i'm oh, sorry keep all 45 so i'm getting all jacked up <clears throat> i actually do know the names of the bags but carry-all keep all mm, i don't know i'm just getting them all mixed up because i have them all here together all right so then all right keep all 45 okay i feel like it fits really good in here fits better in here i think i don't know why that is but it does and so if you wanted so i guess all that to say if you wanted to carry the keep all 45 even though i literally told my client i feel like it's too obnoxious i just told you the measurements and it's wider it's two inches wider and maybe that's just enough to kind of push it over the edge i don't know i feel like um you know where you have more width or yeah no sorry more length you have more depth in this one okay and so um see i just feel like see even just looking in the video i still feel like that the keep all looks bigger the keep all 45 to me looks bigger than the carry all i feel like the carry all can still be a daily bag um and again i love that it has the outside slip pockets because I mean, if you wanted to carry the Keep All 45 as a daily bag, I mean, you would obviously have to put some, you know, you'd have to have some organization because it doesn't even have the, the mini pocket, okay? At least the 40 has the mini pocket. So all that to say, if you're trying to, if you're looking for travel purposes and you're trying to decide, take a look at the carry-all because obviously the carry-all could be your little weekend bag too and it has two outside slip pockets and an inside a huge inside slip pocket whereas this has no pockets um, but the, the pro of the keep all is that you could get the bando option and you could actually carry it over your shoulder or crossbody or whatever uh, whereas on the carry all you don't really have that option okay um, and again you know I guess really just saying as far as you know the weight of them I mean of the three bags probably the speedy is going to be the lightest just because it only has the handles for leather well and the piping okay on the carry-all you obviously have you know oh which, which by the way it only goes down you can see it doesn't go all the way around and it has feet it's another thing about the carry-all forgot to tell you that the carry-all has feet the other two bags do not and the keep all it goes all the way around see that leather piece so yeah i mean i don't know you know i mean it's really just kind of comes down to preference and stuff but again i i really you know, when I sold this bag originally, when I stopped using it, again, if you watch my video, I'll go all into it, but I just don't feel that way anymore. That was just a season of life that was super chaotic and crazy. I mean, it still is super chaotic and crazy now, but I, I don't know, I'm kind of digging it again. You know, like when my client um, ordered it, I was kind of like, oh snap, I may have to, I may have to get one for me too, because um, I'm really liking it, you know? And I mean, I know it's not a shoulder bag, but you know, like if you have to put it up on your shoulder, you know whatever you can so anyway um again speedy 40 carry all okay and, and it's just carry all it's not there's no number after it. it's just carry all and then there's keep all 45 so again just want to do the comparison because i just so happen to have all three of them and i hope this was helpful and if you notice in the description i have links to my groups and information about my live sales i do live sales every week several times a week and i would love for you to join so be sure and um and check me out okay talk to y'all soon bye